rain 612, but we're just probably an hour away, if that, from landfall from Debbie. We'll take it to that here in a second. Want to let you know it's partly cloudy skies out there this morning. You're stepping out. You need to get some things done, secure some maybe loose household items outside. Patio furniture, bring it indoors. Trust me, as we go into the middle of this week, that wind really going to ramp up. But some rain really starts to build in overnight tonight and into your Tuesday. You'll notice some of the bands already starting to show up across portions of Charleston and just offshore. We'll start to have some of these showers by the middle of the day. The actual storm still working its way into the Big Bend region of Florida. Tornado warnings now to the east of Tampa going to be approaching Orlando in the next couple of hours. And as we zoom in here, we are getting close, very close to landfall from Hurricane Debbie is a category one hurricane and our fourth name storm of the 2024 hurricane season. This moving still 10 miles per hour to the northeast and it's actually got that pace that we would love to see in our area. However, it's going to slow down tremendously and that's why we now have three days. First alert weather days here. Tropical downpours at times flash flooding possible and an isolated tornado threat that will develop as we go into Tuesday, Wednesday and even Thursday. I think by Wednesday, say afternoon, but more importantly into your Thursday, we'll start to see some steady tropical storm force winds work in here and rain chances up to 100%. Let's talk about the rainfall first. We've mentioned this. It's our first level four extreme risk of heavy rain since Hurricane Florence. It would not shock me looking at some of the latest data to maybe see this nudged up just a little bit. We'll keep an eye on that. Want to let you know that we are talking about some significant rainfall here locally with 16 to 20 inches of rain just down to the southwest. 12 to 18 or 12 to 16, excuse me, inches of rain for portions like Cherry Grove, North Myrtle Beach, Conway, Aner, and Florence. The wind with this will not be the big story. It will be the rainfall over the course of five days that I think as we had later into the week will really start to add up some problems and some issues and create some localized flooding. Once again, the timing shows as we go throughout the model data here that as we head closer into Wednesday and Thursday, tropical downpours will start to rotate onshore, not to mention some onshore flooding that could be happening there with the storm surge estimated to be about one to three feet. Let's also talk about the tracks because each track dictates what we could see and the track still not a for sure thing for a look at some of those scenarios this morning. Let's send it over to meteorologist Jenna Greenhill. Jenna. Yeah, Andrew, we definitely want to keep you up to date with the possible tracks that we could be seeing. Like Andrew just said, none of these are exactly what's going to happen. We'll continue to update you when we continue to get more information. Right now, I want to look at the inland track. If this track were to verify again, it would bring heavy rain, flash flooding. This would bring an isolated tornado threat from any of those onshore spin ups that would want to happen. Now, the well offshore track. This would decrease our tornado threat pretty much to none. We will have those gusty winds like always and we will have that heavy rain and flash flooding still be a risk even throughout the week if this storm continues to work offshore. If this storm wants to move inshore like the European model is kind of indicating right now that this is going to take a turn for us we will continue to minor that minor those details down throughout the week. This will bring some heavy rain, flash flooding, gusty winds, and that isolated tornado threat. Now looking at this tornado threat, this is really going to be from any of those rotating storms that are going to move onshore. We'll continue to keep you updated as we get closer to the threat for those tornadoes and what we will be seeing as we head throughout the next couple of days. Jenna, thank you. And if you haven't already, now's the time to follow our first alert weather team on social media. All five of our meteorologists are posting updates on Debbie around the clock and answering your questions. You can find our team on Facebook and X and make sure to turn on notifications so you know every time they post.